For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on your Thursday, April 13th, my name is Ian Kelly and these are the stories we're following at this hour. Brattleboro firefighters were able to quickly extinguish a shrub and building fire at 45 Linden Street on Wednesday afternoon. Brattleboro Fire Chief Leonard Howard says crews were called to the scene just before 12.30 p.m. and were informed the outside fire was indeed out. Crews checked the adjacent building for extension and found smoke coming from the first floor porch roof. There was light damage to exterior windows and siding, and a smoke smell inside the building has to be corrected before the building can be reoccupied. The fire was caused by careless disposal of smoking materials. Governor Phil Scott says he's found agreement with the legislature on many items this year. Scott says his areas of disagreement aren't focused on priorities. It is on how to get the job done. The governor says we can achieve universal access to paid family and medical leave. We can make historic investments in child care, helping thousands of more families access affordable options. We can act on mitigating climate change. We can expand treatment for the prevention of opioid addiction and mental health needs. And we can do it all in a way that does not increase costs on an already overburdened and overtaxed Vermont and without setting us up for serious and very real fiscal problems in the future. The Vermont Health Department says there were two COVID-19 deaths reported this past week in the state of Vermont. 139 new cases of the virus were reported, 17 patients hospitalized. A coalition of attorneys general has won an injunction from the United States District Court for the District of North Dakota barring the Environmental Protection Agency from using a new rule redefining waters of the United States. New Hampshire's John Formella says the new rule would redefine navigable waters and expand the definition of that term to include ponds, streams, ditches, potholes, and other bodies of water, temporary or otherwise, under the Clean Water Act, and that is 24 attorneys general in total say farmers and private landowners would be unaware that they may need to get permission from the EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers to make changes to their property. WTSA Sports, the Tampa Bay Rays continue to roll. Tampa Bay won their 12th straight Wednesday night, one shy of tying the major league record of 13 set by Milwaukee Tampa Bay beat Boston 9-7. The teams play a matinee game this afternoon. Corey Kluber on the mound for the Red Sox. First pitch from Tampa is at 110. Oswaldo Cabrera's two-run, and that's a two-out double in the ninth. Cabrera hit that two-out double in the ninth. It was the difference as the Yankees beat Cleveland yesterday 4-3. New York hosts Minnesota tonight. Johnny Brito on the mound for the Yankees. First pitch is at 7.05. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Thursday, April 13th. Have a safe and tremendous rest of your day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.